I'm very sorry if you've noticed the colour change throughout me doing this demo. It's just I found it really hard to get the right setting for my camera for this colour, basically that I've used in the sky. So this is the actual what you, the colour you can see now is the colour that it is. It's a mauve, purpley mauve. See why I left them little areas now, can't you? There. I always knew I was going to want them to be quite bright. So once you've put the paint on, then you can go back and just blend it out, you see. I want to actually push some of these bright bits into there. We'll put some more shadows in there and stuff as well. Again, that's going to help this wave stand out when we come to doing it. You know, if I blend it in, and that's pretty grey still now, and then I'll go over reload, and I'll go over it again, and then it'll be yellow, and that's exactly what we want. We want this yellow to fall off right through the painting. And it's got to be the similar brightness. See that? I just pop that yellow in there. Reload. Pop it in. Push and get a ridge on edge. See that ridge? It's on the edge of, on the, edge of the brush. Is that? I just pull into these dark areas. Some of that light. And then we can come back and just blend it out. Usually though, you, when you're blending it, it's going to mix. See that? It's mixing with the actual lavender. Which we do want. Because it makes it look so smooth and soft. See that? Now blend that yellow into the lavender just there. See that? And now your transition between these light areas and these dark areas looks continual. There we go. Ste keep stepping back again. Just have a look. That's getting somewhere near. I'm very, very happy with how this is going. Right, now I know I've got some rocks to put in here. So what I'm going to do, in fact, just before I do that, there's another little ripple that I need to, a little wave. Just want to put it in there. Just a little wave. Following that one through, basically, on there. Excellent. Right, I'll put this palette down. Clean off my phone, which is covered in paint. <laughs> Right, we're going to have some big rocks in here. So again, the same lab in the colour which we've used, with black, basically. Simple. Can't go wrong with this. It's just simple. Really, really simple. Black and lab in there together for these rocks. Now, I know we've got a big rock comes up from here. These are more or less silhouette. Just that, that lavender will show through though the hue of the lavender will just show through. There. And then it sits up. I'm only bobbed about the top edge and then it comes down into the water. Just there. Down to the water's edge. Reload. Get a fresh load of paint and just paint the base of that where that goes round there 
very dark just for now and then we'll highlight this later so that's coming down something like so and then we'll pull some reflections in with this fan brush in a short while I'm just going to paint these in first now I know there's another one it's just back here actually right set out in, in the water I might be better off using my little fan brush for that it's a bit tight let's try that yeah that'll definitely work better because what it is it's actually sitting out and it just tails off a bit there that's right put some a little wave or something underneath that just to sit it down for now I'm just laying them out there one there there's one actually in the breaker just here a little stood up one so let's use the end of the brush anything like so a little pointy top on it is this one there. something like what I was after Right, we've got another big rock. It's actually sat in here, right inside these waves. And it comes just down like so. Just there. Right into the waves. The waves are going to be crashing around me. God, this has been a fun day. This has been brilliant. Been blessed. Just lately, I feel like I've been blessed being able to do all this painting and had me on studio. Can't believe how things have gone. They've been brilliant. This is just bliss to me to be able to just sit here in my studio, painting for you all, and making a living from it as well. Which is brilliant. There we go. A little fat ball that just sat in there. The waves crashing around there. Don't put too much colour at the base because we want the waves to crash up against that and stuff. So I'm just going to follow on with these. There's another big rock just here but before I can do that I need to actually put these shadows in for this rock. Every rock has a shadow, you see, which is the reflection of, of the rock in the actual water, you see. See that there? How much darker I've just made that? That just shows the light hitting there, and then this shadow just being in there. Just in there. So what? Great stuff. Now, make sure you don't kill all this wonderful light that's under there. For this little rock, I'm just going to touch a little bit of shadow just underneath and then just drag it out. There. See that? Just drag that out. And then that wave will actually crash into that, you see. Brilliant. And we've got, in the actual surf, we've got another little boulder just there. Putting that dark against that light, though, I think I'm going to work.
work for us, so we're going to actually just push this crashing wave and it's just going to go over that crashing uh, the wave is going to just crash up to that rock there. Beautiful. Right, now we've done that, we've got to put a couple of little shadows in just here that's a bit darker for this rock. So all it needs just something to see that's all crashing around that uh, smashing and crashing and all that movement going on. Whoop.